Gundy E here and today we're looking at the best true wireless buds for the year. I've broken them down into categories in price. I know there were a ton this year. I didn't review all of them, but these are the ones that I covered that I really do like. And our categories this time are gonna be $50, 100, sub 200, and above $300. So let's kick it off with the very first pair of headphones at sub 50. I'm talking about the Feel T1X. Now the T1X are an interesting pair of headphones. Retail for $49.99, uh, originally was priced at $79. They come in at a really good affordable price. Has a thick-ish black case. USB Type-C though, so you've got fast charging on here. Uh, you do have a device that also uh, fits really well. Has a nice fit so your noise isolation is really, really good. Hi-Fi stereo on there, one-step pairing. You've also got a DSP for noise canceling, which is okay, but the isolation I think works out really well. Uh, in terms of audio quality, it's it's good. It's really good, especially when you're paying $49.99. You really can't go wrong with these pair because they sound good, the highs don't hit as much, uh, the, the lows are not too deep, but they sound good enough that look, I mean, you're getting your money's worth out of the Phil uh, T1X and uh, definitely worth it at $50. And that's why it's the only pair I have in the $50 category. So moving over to a $100 category, starting off with the One More Stylish True Wireless, 69 bucks now. I, I really love these pair of headphones when I review them. Uh, they've got fast charging, three hours will give you, sorry, 15 minutes will give you three hours of battery life, 24 hours total, lightweight of 52 grams. Uh, the sound quality is really good. It's got Bluetooth 5.0, Aptex uh, um, from Qualcomm. Uh, audio quality is really priced almost at a $200 pair of headsets. I do like it. I like the functionality. I think a lot of people will. Also comes in multiple colors. So if you want it in green, pink, gold, or black, you can get it in those colors that fit you best. So next up are the MIFO 05 Plus. Now the MIFO 05 Plus, uh, retail for $79. Now, if you remember, I covered the Mi 405. This has 100 hour battery life, which is truly amazing. Most out of any of the headphones here. Uh, six hours with each ear uh, earpiece. Now, they look very similar to the Mi 405 in terms of the case and also uh, the look of the earbuds themselves. You've got Aptex uh, built into this. You've also got Bluetooth 5.0. So you've got a lot of functionality in there. 2600 milliamp battery. So you can literally charge other devices. The downside is that it uses micro USB and a USB type C, but with the battery life in here, I've yet to drain this thing. Seriously, it's been hard. So I truly like it. Now you're thinking audio quality. Audio quality is good. It sounds really nice. Uh, the highs don't go too much, but the mids and the lows are really balanced and come out really well. I like what they've done here and I also like the extra functionality as well. And again, 79 bucks, can't go wrong with that, but it might go up to $89 soon. So you might wanna pick it up. Now, finally, our last pair of uh, True Wireless Buds in the sub $100 category are the Soundcore Liberty Air 2. I really like these pair of headphones. Uh, besides the audio quality, you've got a case and design just kind of similar to the original AirPods, but of course it has tips, so they fit in well. Uh, you've got great battery life at about 28 hours. It's got wireless charging built in, so you now have that feature here under $100. For microphones, the microphone on this thing is really really good. I like it and I think they've done a fantastic job here. They've also got the Hear ID uh, app so you can actually map out your hearing and change the EQs. Those also add a whole new element to the listening quality of, of these pair of headphones. And in terms of the audio quality, they're good. They are really good. I think Soundcore has done a really good job here in just adding so many features and giving you the sound quality you're looking for at just $99. So moving over to the sub $200 category, this is where we have a bunch of True Wireless Buds. Signing off with one of the biggest ones this year, I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy Buds. The Galaxy Buds probably have one of the smallest cases out here out of all the pair of headphones. Uh, it brings a ton of features. There of course is wireless charging on here, which is nice. Uh, again, really nice fit, probably one of the best fits out of all of them. So the noise isolation is really good. Uh, you've got a good battery life on there, about 
six hours or so gives you of course uh, up to um, up to 24 hours of battery life in here bluetooth 5.0 as well works with android ios devices it's got that quick connect especially with a samsung device just like that and the application gives you some versatility the microphone as we all know is not the best but it's still a really solid pair at a hundred and twelve nineteen ish dollars so our next pair are the Amazon Echo Buds. Now, surprisingly, this one has micro USB charging as opposed to most of the headphones here, and also has a larger case. But what I like with the Echo Buds is the fit is really good. Uh, the noise reduction, as they call it, it's not noise cancellation, but I made mistake of calling it noise cancellation, is solid. I like it a lot. Uh, and I think also the other quality is good. Uh, there's, there's maybe a smaller sound stage than I would like, but I think you really get some good audio reproduction. The main, the main sweetness with these pair of headphones is the fact of Alexa's built-in and the hands-free nature, plus the ability to use multiple voice assistants with Alexa and say Google Assistant at the same time. It's truly amazing. I think it works out really well for these pair of headphones and I think a lot of people will like that. So that's something to take note. Now, of course, battery life is also pretty good as well. You're getting at least 24 hours of battery life and I think, ugh, Amazon's on the right track. Next up are one of my favorite entries, again from Soundcore at $150, are the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pro. The Liberty 2 Pro come in a stylish case that kind of just slides out. You can slide it back out, open. Uh, you've got wireless charging built into this as well. You've got the Hear ID of, uh, you know, functionality which maps out your hearing. Uh, and you can balance it out with all the different EQs. Uh, for microphones, so of course, some really good microphones on this. Uh, eight hour playback time on the earphones themselves. And then of course, you've got at least 10 minutes to give you about an hour or so. You've got about 36 hours of uh, battery life as well. So a lot of battery life, a lot of functionality, and the other quality is really good. Soundcore came out swinging. And 150, this is your go-to that you can pick up and use any day of the week. So our next pair are for the sports-minded, and the Jaybird Vista are truly unique sports geared uh, headphones. Uh, they're called earthproof, so they're fully waterproof IP67. Uh, the construction is also geared that way, so everything's actually built internally to be waterproof. Uh, they've also got a USB type C, a nice travel case with a hand slingy, or so to speak, so you can actually wrap it somewhere if you need to. Uh, you've also got a really robust application that allows you to customize the sound. Uh, these I use quite a bit to work out and they give you some really rich sound. 32 hours of battery life, six hours uh, with each ear, ear cup, I'm um, sorry, earbuds themselves. And the other quality is good. Now it's not the best, but I like the way the EQs work and they do a lot of balancing for you. I think the audio is a little bit uh, tinny on the high side, but the overall um, usage for this, especially with fitness, I think goes a long way. And JBS Vista might actually do that for you at $179. Next up uh, for premium audio and also sports and fitness, uh, look no no further than Master Dynamics uh, MW07 Go. Yes, first of all, you've got this really smooth and nice case, fabric material, USB Type C in the back opens up. Uh, comes in three colors: a blue, a red, and a white. Uh, in terms of build, uh, this thing uh, is durable. It has TR90 composites. Uh, it also has fit wings, so you can actually use those if you need to fit into your ears. Uh, will we'll of course work while you're swimming up to 100 feet. It's built to last uh, long battery life of about 10 hours per ear cut, per ear, per earbud um, use, and as well as 40 hours in total. So this is like the second longest battery life after the Mi 405 Plus. Uh, in terms of audio quality. Mass Dynamic does not mess around. It sounds really, really good. Very smooth. I like the highs and the lows. It is so robust. I mean, this might be my go-to fitness uh, and also just listening pair of true wireless earbuds. I like them. The only two features it doesn't have is active noise cancellation and wireless charging. Something missing right here. The Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Buds are really nice and unique. 
They've got fabric case. Uh, it's a little bit bulkier, but it's nice, compact. It's got USB type C, you open it up, revealing of course, Sennheiser's true wireless buds. Uh, audio quality is where Sennheiser, Sennheiser pushed the limits on this. It sounds really good. Uh, you've got touch controls on your cheer cup, uh, but in terms of battery life, you're looking at four hours and uh, about 12 hours combined with the case. Uh, I think a lot of people will like uh, the sound that it gets. It's priced at 209, but the battery life is really short. But if you're going for audio, this is something you definitely have to look at it and really admire and enjoy. I think you'd like it at that price range. Just know that you do have to top it off after 12 hours. Now for our Apple fans, I have to recommend uh, the AirPods Pro. That is the best pair of um, headphones from Apple. And the reason I like them is the noise cancellation is actually pretty good. And Apple, of course, is well known to have a really good microphone on there. You do have uh, tips now, so it fits much better. But for me, it doesn't fit all the way and there are a couple of tips heads to go with. Now, as you see, I am using a case with my AirPods Pro. They're from my good friends at Spigen. They send a few over and I do like them to come in different uh, colors and also have like a rugged one here too. So if you're one who you know might lose your AirPods case, at least you can clip them to your belt. So that's something you can actually do. Uh, but in terms of audio quality, uh, I think it's similar to the AirPods now with just a better seal. Uh, but if you're an Apple fan, that's the price point you have to pay and that's what you have to pick up. And finally, the king of the hill still for me and one that definitely you can spend your money on any of the other week are the Sony WF-1000 Mark III's. The Mark III's are really unique uh, in terms of audio quality. I think they really hit the mark. Uh, it's got really nice uh, soft sound, if you will. Uh, it's not too colorful. The highs, lows, and mids come out really well, especially the lows too. The highs really strike out. You've also got a really nice app that gives you detailed workings of your EQs and the noise cancellation, which is second to none. Really blocks out everything, gives you the ability to listen to music with a large sound stage and something that fits really well. I think a lot of people will like this. Now it doesn't have wireless charging, which is a bummer, but it does have USB type C and it has NFC tap to pair, which is really fast to actually pair your device. Um, I think these are just a great pair to pick up, especially for the holidays. If you're looking to give a gift to someone who wants a good pair of two wireless buds. All right, guys, those are all the true wireless buds in this video that I think you can pick up from $50 all the way to $249. And I think there's something for everyone. And if you like any, you can take a look at them using the links down below. Also, if you want to check out my gear that I use in my videos, you can check them out, including the Nana Light Pavo tubes, which I use to light some things in this video. They're pretty cool. Uh, they work out well. I'm still trying to play with them and see what I can do. You can check it out from our friends at BNH Photo. All right, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.